A fourth child has died after contracting the flu in Massachusetts. The illness is still having an impact on the area, including at Gardner Middle School. WBZ's Michelle Fisher has more now at noon. Doctors with the Department of Public Health say we are over the peak of flu season, but they're warning that doesn't mean it's over yet. And that is something that parents, teachers, and students at Gardner Middle School are dealing with firsthand. Early morning drop off is less busy lately than it might be normally after a flu outbreak has kept students out of class at Gardner Middle. My daughter said 15% of our school yesterday or Monday was out. The superintendent says the school has seen a massive spike in absences and at least five confirmed flu cases. My kid was one of them. This parent's fifth grader was so sick he ended up in the emergency room with a fever over 104. It was very concerning. Um, Especially, I mean, we thought we were all going to get it. We didn't get it at all, but um, he, was, he was pretty bad. In a Facebook post to parents yesterday, the school says it's now taking extra precautions by cleaning the building and wiping down chairs, desks, and doorknobs. I'm glad that they're, you know, contacting everybody, letting everybody know what's going on. The outbreak comes just as a fourth child this season has died of complications from the flu. The Department of Public Health confirming the victim was a teenage boy from Middlesex County. Get it or you're not. Hope for the best. Parents, if your kids are sick, you got to stay home. You know what I mean? D don't bring your kids around everybody else's kids. It's not fair. Reports of influenza cases and flu related hospital visits have decreased since the peak in February, but the Department of Public Health says that people should still be vigilant about washing their hands and getting vaccinated to stop the spread of the virus. In Gardner, I'm Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.